The Buddha left us the Eightfold Path, which he claimed would lead us all the way into Nibbana, but also would relieve us in life and make life easier to live. Listen for the bell for each one of the folds of the path. Taking an impersonal view of life lightens pressure off our mind and allows us to see more quickly what is essential and what is unessential in all situations. Our view of life affects the images or thoughts that we hold in our mind. These thoughts affect how we communicate with our facial expressions, body language, and our speech. How we communicate leads into the actions we take at any time. Actions include careful movement of mind's attention, a wholesome view of life, the thoughts we keep in our mind, kind communication, and careful actions help us build a supportive lifestyle and choose a good and healthy livelihood. Each of us is challenged to find our talent in life, develop it, and if we love what we do, each of us will contribute to peace and harmony in this world. To support our success, the Buddha taught us to practice the four steps of right effort. And he encouraged us to continue this right striving all through our life. The most valuable tool for this is to continue it all the time. This was his specific training of right mindfulness that helped us the best to personally observe how thoughts, feelings, and emotions arise and pass away. Watching closely in this way, we find that finely tuned productive concentration is most helpful to realize how reactions happen and also see how they can be replaced by harmonious responses instead if we train properly. Patience and practice lead us to peaceful reconciliation in all matters of this world. This was the Buddha's advice for a daily path in life. An even more specific path was taught to his meditators to develop deep, accurate observation for meditation and follow the noble path to Nibbana. Sadu, sadu, sadu.